G'day and welcome to A Life That Travels. I'm Rob Malicki and today we are at Swinburne University at Hawthorne having a look around, talking to some students and checking out what this place is all about. As usual, our reviews are no BS, no propaganda, all authentic. Let's go and have a look around and see what we can find at Swinburne University. Swinburne was founded in 1908. It was originally founded as a technical college, um, which is in fact why since 1992 when it received university status, it's got such a great linkage between vocational education right through to undergrad degrees, postgrad degrees, and about 800 students doing PhD research here too. So it's a university where you can basically start from um, vocational ed and work your way right through to the highest forms of degrees there are, which is pretty fantastic. Swinburne has three campuses in Australia, the main one here at Hawthorne where I am today, and it also has the really innovative um, Malaysia campus, which in Sarah, which, which is an incredible opportunity if, you're, if you do come to study at Swinburne because you can actually go and spend time studying in Sarawak in Malaysia and have that count towards your degree. So that's obviously a real plus. A little bit underwhelmed with the library facilities, although they are being renovated right now, so it might end up being a little bit better. But compared to some of the other universities where you've got automated book retrieval and a much more collaborative spaces, this one's still a little bit 1990s. Anyway, you can't be strong everywhere, can you? Uh, Swinburne's considered a small university, 22,000 odd students. Most of those undergraduate, 19 odd thousand undergrads. But what's impressive for it is that it ranks in the top three universities for student satisfaction here in Melbourne, which is obviously pretty strong. And one of the areas that it absolutely excels at is in its career readiness, its career development programs. So students um, have access to really exceptional work integrated learning opportunities which means before you walk out of this place you're going to end up with a whole bunch of real world experience that can be like work experience it can also be real world experience like going and having international study experiences the Swinburne abroad team you do a great job of running lots of different study tours and international exchange programs and opportunities for students so that extracurricular stuff is also really strong here Areas of strength for Swinburne, well, for a University of Technology, perhaps not surprising, engineering, IT, uh, a lot of the disciplines around design, technology, um, things like aviation, film and tech are all very strong here, very well regarded. But it's not the only thing, you can also do environment, sciences, architecture, these are all built environment, these are all areas where Swinburne has had uh, quite, a lot of, quite a lot of success, so it's a pretty comprehensive university with lots of choices for students. Swinburne's great, it, it's got a, a background of it, it used to be a technical college, mm -hmm. so more of a TAFE, yeah. um, so they've got, a, you, you can really sense that in the way that they present and the way they um, design their, their uh, studies, um, and it's good because you get sort of like a practical aspect and industry-based learning. Industry engagement, so I mean, yeah. kind of all the way through our course, there's always been, you know, opportunities to have, you know, placement opportunities here, and it's always advertised online, and mm. it's kind of, there for you if you want it sort of thing whereas I think from my own experience I've got friends at a lot of other universities where they have to go searching out of their way whereas I think mm. we kind of get handed that opportunity yeah. pretty easily. That's pretty good, the teachers are pretty good, Don't services are pretty good. Yeah. Well yeah it's a smoke free campus, yeah. there's a lot of millennials, well almost all the, the students in my class are millennial. The all exposure. the teachers are hands on. This is obviously a massive advantage for any university Glen Ferry train station right here, so main Hawthorne campus, easily connected to the rest of the world by a mainline train. So, getting here, no worries. Although there is of course a caveat to that, which is if you don't live near a train line, you are on a bus or a tram to get down here, which is a little bit more awkward. Parking around here is not that spectacular, although if you are early, there are a couple of parking garages on campus. Um, but that adds up. Espresso and chocolate crackatino. Cra crackle or something like that. Who cares? This looks awesome. What else do you need to know about Swinburne? Well, let's think about rankings. Generally ranked somewhere around 400th in the entire world 
which for a university as young as this is a really admirable result and shows how much the university has achieved in such a short period of time. Obviously some of its discipline specialties, it ranks even better than that. In Australia, it ranks just outside the top dozen, in about 15th, give or take. Same thing, it's outperforming a lot of universities that are older than it. And as always with rankings, you really need to make sure that you check into how your particular discipline of interest performs, not just how the university as a whole does, because even universities that don't rank that strongly can have specialties. Um, and even sometimes when those specialties don't rank particularly well, it doesn't matter if there's somebody that you specifically want to study with in that particular area is amazingly strong. So I recommend you check out the Quality Indicators of Learning and Teaching, the Quilt website from the Australian Government. That's where they give you all the data from student satisfaction surveys. That's people who actually study here, what they say about studying here, unbiased information. Definitely worth checking it out. I'll drop the link down the bottom for you. Well, I've enjoyed my afternoon here at Swinburne University. Sun's just going down place is quietening out a bit but you know what as a place to come and study I think it's an awesome little university particularly the focus on um, work integrated learning and getting you ready for a job that's super important I love the fact that there are so many pathways through TAFE and other avenues to get you in here that's a real advantage for, for lots of people because you don't just have to jump straight out of school and into university there are many many other options out there for you but as a university, it's in the middle of a happening little suburb called Hawthorne. That's an advantage. The cupcakes, holy moly, cupcakes and coffee, thumbs up. And then the spaces. I just love the fact that you've got some really nice central space here to hang out in. Um, it's actually uni holidays and it's still got a nice vibe. Those are all pluses in my book. I'll see you next time on A Life That Travels. I'm Rob Malicki. Whatever you're getting up to today, I hope it's a good one. And hey, if you're studying at Swinburne and you've got some comments, let me know what it's like, what your opinion is of studying here, what your experience has been. I'd love to hear from you too. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.